Hey guys, all right, so I'm back up. Um, I'm sorry if it's a little bit dark this side. Um, problem is I've mounted all the lights on that side. I was doing a video on that, but um, this table is so much more bigger and the power outputs are all here. Uh, I'll definitely get the lightings up as soon as possible, guys. So before that, I'm going to do this first. As you can see, this is a new plate. This is the old one, which is broken. So I'm going to remove all this first. Firstly guys, it's definitely planning. Um, I don't think I'm gonna wrap it anyways. You know, I don't think I should wrap it. And I'm gonna make this one here. This one to end to end. I want to have at least enough space that way the wires don't get so stiff and tangled up around. So, I gotta go find some bolts. And I'll be back guys. All right, I'm back. Bosch. Man, I love Bosch. All right, so let's see which bolt will use perfectly on this. Oh yeah, I like to do that. So that. Okay, only problem is, ah, okay, slice. You want to make sure that it fits perfectly here, yeah, guys. You don't want any wiggle at all. Pretty sure you guys know that. So, um, the Bosch, when you actually put pressure on it, it starts, it activates. So that's really cool though. All right, gonna mount it perfectly here. Hey guys, all right, so I've already mounted everything. Um, as you can see, it's rock steady, it's really hard. Um, what I did was eight way for all the power outputs to the accessory like fan, fuel pump and stuff like that. Four more will be going to the ground and switch. So basically I have two switch, one master switch and one more all goes to the ground. Um, these are the battery, um, the bridge. Breaker switch, yep, sorry. Power distribution block, power distribution block as well. This one is from the battery from here. This one is from the accessory power and I'm gonna wire them up and I'm gonna do the time lapse so you guys don't, you know, waste one hour watching me doing all this. So let's do it.
Hey guys, um, all done. I finally, hold on, let me get all this day out. All right. All right guys, all done, all pretty and neat. Um, it took a while though, it took a really long time. Um, those terminals, yeah, it's not easy though. I wanted to make sure that all is wired properly, all is wired correctly, like really one to eight, so one to eight and then um really one to eight as well so one will be here from the top here sorry hold on um yep correct so one two three and then four and five six and seven and eight um, why these two is together is because one is for the nitro solenoid so that one i want to make sure that the nitrous solenoid activate at the same time on both fuel and the nitrous solenoid you don't want where one of the relays got spoiled or one of the fuse burn and only one is activating like either only fuel is fine that is no worries but if just the nitrous activate without those extra fuel solenoid activating yeah you're gonna run extremely lean and you're going to blow your motor or you know piston ring is gonna start to close the gap and crack those pistons up um, the other two is for the fuel pump so basically I mean I want to make sure that the fuel pump runs on the same circuit as well so it gets powered at the same time so that's why I run both so if one of the fuse get blown um, because I'll be running dual pump right so dual pump flows through the body and goes to the fuel rail so for example this is a fuel rail I have fit from both sides if one of the pump fail the feet is just gonna push the fluids back or the fuel back all the way to the other pump and yeah I don't want that happening I guess so you know I might as well just weigh it up both together and I have to so because um, firstly I can't I, I could have got the A but there was no space for it it's gonna be up to here so i can't have wires and it's going to be a tight fit so i just make it six because i do plan to run the nitros together so i thought you know six would just be fine these are all the output these are the output for the fuel pump the nitro solenoid the water methanol injection the fans and all those other accessory parts will be here all these are the output um, as usual the nitros will definitely be two wires um, going together uh, one is a fuel and one is the nitro solenoid and uh, one will be for like um, the nitro purge and all the other stuff guys so this one are uh, the switch so I'll have four switch right uh, one switch is to activate uh, basically the front fans um, the radiator and the condenser fan both will be run together uh, this is ground so it doesn't really matter though um, you can wire like two three wires at the same time as long as the ground is adequate it should be fine um, and I will want to run ground wires to the switch because I don't want powering power going to the switch and you know it's going to start to heat up uh, ground will really heat the cable as bad as like you know powers and stuff like that I don't think ground even really heats up the wire um, I think it does it does in a way but not not as bad as power though so um one two three four five six seven eight so four switches uh probably one of them i wouldn't really have a switch i think two of them i really have to switch because uh, one will be activating um the ecu which is really one and two that relay for the ECU will be powering up the ECU itself sending power to the ECU and to the ignition cores as well so this one will activate the ECU and the ignition coil together um, the other one will be nitrous and the solenoid the switch uh, one more probably um, methanol injection or the nitrous purge or something like that the fourth and uh, the seven and the eight one I don't know a uh, fan and uh, no fuel pump and fan yeah I think I'm a little bit short on relays though um, but I'll figure it out you know I pro I'll probably run the ECU on an external relay 
I think that should be better. Um, somewhere close to the issue and somewhere, you know, because I'm gonna make a board like that, just like that for the issue as well. And I'm gonna make sure that everything is just close by. So anything on the issue, I will check that. So all done guys, all wired, everything is nice. The only problem is um, that it's gonna be messy is having the AUX wire going to the power distribution block. Um, I will probably slide it below, right below it. That way it will be more uh, discreet and going here because this cable and wire is the one that I won't really open up anyways. So I'm gonna make, uh, as you guys know, the board on the trunk close up on this panel, right? So right at where the board is gonna close here, I'm gonna make a real, probably 14 mm hole right here. All right, so that way that if anything, I can just pop the trunk and press the button. So, and there you go, breaker switch is there. Um, I don't want where if I have items and stuff or groceries and anything goes wrong, I have to move the groceries, pull up the trunk, um, the board and hook it up and then press the button. I want where there's a hole and direct access. And also I want to make sure there's a hole there because in case if I were to put groceries and stuff like that, obviously the board will actually flex and I don't want while driving all of a sudden it closes so yeah that is really dangerous because one thing I wouldn't really know if anything is working like the fans and stuff like that but I will definitely have like all this ground wired to um, a light an LED light outside there so that way I know if like anything goes off the light just goes off so I think I'll wire the fans and stuff like that to the maxi zero anyways guys um thank you so much for watching guys i hope you guys enjoyed i know it's a long video i know this is the second time i'm doing it but this time i'm doing it right and the, well the first one was just like a planning on how i really want to do as you guys notice i didn't have this so yeah everything works well thank you so much guys do like and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video ciao guys